Rules of exponents can be kind of tough. You just have to take it step by step. So here's our first problem. I noticed that this whole quantity is to the third power. That means every part has to be raised to the third power. So two to the third power is eight. X to the third to the third power, but when it's power to power like this, the base stays the same and we multiply three times three, which is nine. And then Y, the base stays the same and we multiply two times three, which is six. And that is all over four X Y to the fourth. Now we're gonna reduce this and eight divided by four is two. So the two stays in the numerator. Now, when I look at the X's, when you're dividing and the base is the same, we subtract the exponents. So nine minus one is X to the eight. And now I'll look at the Y's and I have Y to the sixth over Y to the fourth. That would be Y squared. So that is my answer to that problem. Now on the next one, we have multiplication. So I multiply three times four, which is 12. And then I have X squared times X. Well, when the base is the same and you're multiplying, we're gonna add the exponents. So two plus one is three. And then I have Y times Y to the fifth. When the base is the same and I'm multiplying, I add the exponents. So one plus five is six. And then the last term is Z to the fourth. That is my answer. And then three to the negative two. Whenever you have negative exponents, to undo the inverse of a negative exponent is to take the reciprocal of the base. Well, my base is a three, three over one. So I take its reciprocal, which would be one over three. And now the negative two is a positive exponent. So this would be the same as one over nine. Let's try another one. So here we say we have a negative one is the exponent. So I'm gonna take the reciprocal of the base. Well, the base is one over two Z. So if I take the reciprocal, that would be two Z over one. And now the exponent becomes positive. Well, we know anything over one is just itself. So the answer would be 